In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a mesh or topsoil stripping that you can use with Earthwork. Here I'm in a new 3D seed file and I have referenced my terrain and I've also referenced a corridor showing the boundary. I'm going to copy this boundary element into my active DGN. Once I have that copied in, I'm going to go ahead and detach that corridor. And the other thing that you'll notice that this is a line string. The command is actually going to ask for a shape. So what I have done is I will go to the create complex shape command. I will select automatic and I will just select that element to create that. And now if I hover over, you can see it says complex shape and line string. Once I have that done, now I can go to Terrain Ribbon and I'm going to create a clipped terrain. I'm going to select the Road Triangles Feature Definition. I'm going to call this terrain clipped. And I'm going to make sure my clipping method is set to external. And I'm just going to follow the prompts. Locate my clipping element. I'm not going to have any horizontal or vertical offsets. Clipping method again is external. And now you can see it created a terrain, a clipped terrain. Once I have that done, now I'm going to create a delta terrain. This one's going to be terrain model to plane. And it's going to be a foot below my clipped terrain. I'll just use road triangles again for my feature definition. The name is going to be delta. And I'll just accept through those. You can see once I get that done that now I should have two terrains in there. Once I have those two terrains in there, now I'm going to go to the Geotech Tools. Underneath this 3D modeling ribbon, there's going to be Create Mesh from Existing Terrains. I get the dialog, the level says default, which I'll leave default right now. My top terrain is going to be the clipped. My bottom terrain would be the delta. It's asking me to select the boundary. I'll select my boundary. Once I have that, then I'm just going to data click to accept that. And now you can see it created the mesh. So I'm going to turn my terrains off at this point. And I should be left just with this mesh. And you can see it's level default. What we need to do now is set a feature definition for this mesh. So I'm just going to go up to the search ribbon here. I'm going to type set and select the set feature definition command. My feature type I'm going to select is mesh. And I'm going to change this to be a substrata topsoil. Now I can find this underneath quarter modeler components grading. There's going to be a substrata topsoil. I'll select that. I can give this a name. I'm just going to locate that mesh and I'm just going to reset to complete. And I'm going to go back to my open roads modeling ribbon. Now when I hover over that with my element selection tool you can see it says TC substrata topsoil remove and replace. That's actually the wrong level. I believe that's a bug in our current 10.9. So what we need to do at this point now is I'm going to go to the drawing ribbon and I'm going to select the change attributes. And the only thing I want to change is the level. So I'll leave all the rest of these off. I need to change this to be TC substrata topsoil. Now I'm going to select that mesh, accept it. Now when I hover over it, it should say TC underbar substrata topsoil. Now I can reference this mesh into my earthwork files and I should be able to get a quantity from these meshes. One thing I would do too before I exit out of this is to delete the terrains that are in this file. So the only thing that is in here is the mesh. So I should be able to delete my existing terrain. 
that's okay that it has dependencies. I don't really want the clipped terrains or delta terrains in here anymore. So I'll actually go, you can see it deleted my clipped one. I'm just gonna go delete my delta. Now I should have no terrains in here. I probably will delete my shape. So that the only thing that's gonna be in this file, it looks like I have another terrain. I'll turn that off. I'll delete this one. It's TC substrata topsoil. This is my mesh. And now I would reference this into earthwork so I could get a quantity for topsoil stripping. And you can do the same thing for existing pavement where you create a shape, create a clipped terrain, create the delta, and then create the mesh between terrains.